Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Safety Made Simple channel. My name is Bella and today it is a budget breakdown day. But before I do, I wanted to start by talking about the little sale I've got going on on my new Etsy shop. So if you don't know that I have an Etsy shop, I do. I'm on Etsy under Saving Made Simple. Um, so from now until August 3rd, I have a sale on my hit and miss challenges. So we've got, I'll pull a little protective sheets off of them. There we go. So from now, oh, let go. From now until August third, if you buy one set of these hit or miss challenges, so there's the '80s, the '90s, and the 2000s, if you order one set of the hit or miss challenges, then you will receive one of either the save the date challenges or a bingo challenge for free. So unfortunately it won't be, you won't get to choose which one you get. It'll be like random. You have a 50% chance of getting either. Um, the, fifth, uh, the bingo is worth $100 once the whole board is full. The save the date varies. It depends on the dates you use. So um, that will be again from now until August 3rd. If you've ever wanted to try buying, now's a great time because you get something for free. And who doesn't love free? All right, so now that we're done talking about free stuff, let's get on to what this video is really about. So first and foremost, I did say I wasn't gonna do a video for unstuffing because I didn't have enough. Um, well, when I was getting ready to do my budget, I went through my books really quick and I had $25 in cash. So I did put that aside that I will use it in my next cash st um, savings stuffing. Um, but aside from that, we're going to get ready to budget. Now, um, one more disclaimer. I missed a day. Um, I missed a day in July. I missed the 23rd. I was just really not feeling well. I was really nauseous and my stomach just really hurt and I decided not to go. And then after that, I just really panicked because I had um, day camp payments to cut, like to do, plus rent, plus my tax-free savings account. And I just got really, really overwhelmed and I started just canceling everything. So I called my Primerica rep and canceled my $100 for my tax-free savings account. I was like, I just can't do it this pay. Can we just skip this time and do it next time? And he's like, yep, that's fine. So I did that. Then I bagged my mom. I'm like, we have three pays in August. Can I pay you in the next two? And there, she's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, so basically I just like begged everyone to give me a break and everyone was really nice and did. And then I looked and I ended up having more than I thought I did. Cause for some reason I thought I was going to have like less than $900, which doesn't even make sense. Um, but yeah, I like really panicked. Um, so it's going to be a little bit easier than I expected, but that's okay. I'd rather it be easier than harder. So um, first and foremost, let's talk about how much I'm making. So my pay is tomorrow, August 1st. And so I will be getting $1,244.94 plus my $50 attendance bonus. So in total, I'm going to end up getting $1,294.94. So I'm just going to round it up to $1,295 make it a little easier. Okay, so we're gonna start with my phone bill. Normally I'd start with my rent, but we're not doing that this time. We're gonna do it the next two pays because I have three pays in August. Do you guys have a special name for that? Um, I feel like some people have called it like a magic month or whatever. Um, I used to call it a leap month because it was like a leap year where you have an extra day one time every four years or whatever. Um, so I used to call it a leap month, but I don't know if there's like an actual name for it. So you'll have to let me know when you have three pays in a month. What is that called for you guys? All right, and then day camp. So I owe 200, okay, so 380. I'm so excited for when day camp is done, you guys. Like, that's so much money car it, it child care costs more than my car payment that's so crazy 235 for my car payment my sister so my sister and i went and saw twisters on the weekend and i paid her admission so it was 15 bucks so she told me to just send her 15 this pay then my sitter 
we had a full week of holidays. So um, then I had a, a call in day. So I only owe her for four days, which is 60. And then credit because I do have expenses constantly coming out of my credit card. So I can't skip credit card. So I'm going to put $100. And then fees for the bank, I'm going to put 10 so let's add all that up. So we got 95, 380, 235, 15, 60, 100. So we have 8, 9, 5. And we're going to subtract 1, 2, 9, 5. So we have 400 remaining. All right. So we'll close this up and we'll set it aside. All right, so now our essentials. So if we go in here, we can look and see. So groceries. Groceries, we're not like out of everything. Um, I think. I think we mostly just need like produce, maybe a couple boxes of goodies. So we'll say 150 like usual. And then gas is on my credit. Dining out. I actually realized, so I did say I had 25 left. Well, that whole 25 was dine out money because I never went to A&W once this past two weeks, which is insane for me. Um, and I definitely want to go tomorrow to celebrate, um, but I won't. I'll wait until the weekend, I think. So dine out, I'm going to put 50. And that, um, yeah, I, I think I said it already. I put the 25 aside and I'll use it in my, uh, I'll use it in one of my savings challenges tomorrow. All right, pets. I budgeted 30. Kiddo. I budgeted 10. Personal, I budgeted 30. Um, and then beauty is fully funded and medical. I did get $20 from a friend um, for my birthday. So I put that in my medical fund. So my medical is fully paid as well. Um, and then the only other thing that's changing. So um, I do, I, I've at the point, like I had to get a new bed frame. My my bed has literally like fallen off. Like the my bed frame is just a metal square and it's basically gone like this and the wheels have fallen in. So basically my bed is like I needed a new one. So I'm going to use $50 from my car because I haven't actually gotten out to pay that bill yet. So I'm going to be using $50 out of that. And then next pay I will replenish it and I will go pay that bill. <laughs> um, I need to go get in for an oil change anyway, so it all works out. So I guess that's it for my expenses. So let's add that up. So we have 150 plus 50, which we know is 200. And we have 30, 10, and 30. So we got 270 minus 400. So we got 130. I'm going to add the 25 because it was extra. So we've got 155. So we're going to put in my large savings challenges. We're going to do 100. And then in my small savings challenges, we're going to do 55. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So that would leave us with zero. Um, and actually, while I'm on the topic of savings challenges, um, back to school is coming. And I've decided that I'm going to use my save the date money for back to school shopping. My son's going to need um, two pairs of shoes, indoors and outdoors. He's going to need a backpack, a lunch bag, a pencil case, and everything for the pencil case. And since I don't actually have a fund for back to school, uh, I've had to kind of choose and I've chosen the one that has the most money and also the least amount of space left on the sheet itself. So when I spend that money, I can erase the sheet and start it over. All right, so let's get these denominations out of the way. So we've got groceries, we've got 51, 
20, 40, 5, and 50. Dining out, we've got 20, 40, 5, and 50. Pets, we have 20, 5, and 30. Kiddo, we've got 5, 10. Personal, we've got 20, 5, 30. Okay, and then for large savings challenges, let's see what we have for like, maybe I need to grab a couple 50s. Let's have a look. So shut the box. If we've got more than two 20s. Okay, yep, I need a 50. And Plinko, 20, nope. I'm just trying to see, I would rather condense as I go. Um, nope. So we need at least 150. Oh, okay, so two 50s, which works. Okay, so I'll grab two 50s um, for that. So we'll go 50, 50, and then I'll condense it down. And then for my small savings challenges, let's see, that's for, that's my extra money. So for my small challenges, I could probably do with like, so that one's gonna be a 25. It's probably gonna be done tomorrow, I would assume. So that's 15, okay. Okay. This is my um, Wales challenge, okay. So if I did some 20s, then I could definitely, let's do, oh, okay. So I already have 25 out, so I'm gonna make this a thir uh, 25 minus, wait, 55 minus 25. Okay, I'm gonna make this a 30, just because I've already got 25 in here. Um, so for 30, I'm gonna do 120, and then we'll do two fives. So that's 30. Okay, so we're gonna go 50, 25. So 50s, we got one, two, three, four, 200. 20s, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 145s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sixty. So that's two, three, forty, four. Perfect. Wait, two, three, forty. Yeah. Okay. So that's four hundred. Perfecto. So that is what I'm going to go grab tomorrow. Is I'll grab four hundred in these denominations, and uh, then I will come back and I will film another video for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, once I turn off the camera, I'm going to move all this into this book. I just find that every time I'm, I do this on film, I mess up and I have to scribble on it. I'd rather just do it off camera. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow with my cash stuffing. Thanks again. Bye.